Dear Beloved, In our pursuit of a deeper connection with the Almighty, we embark on a sacred journey, a journey that beckons us to draw near to God with open hearts, seeking not only answers but an intimate relationship with our Creator. Today, we unravel the profound steps that lead us closer to God, embracing the sacred practices that foster spiritual growth and allow us to experience the transformative power of His presence. 2 Timothy chapter 2 verse 15 Do your best to present yourself to God as one approved, a worker who does not need to be ashamed and who correctly handles the word of truth. To draw near to God, we begin by exploring the treasure trove of wisdom found in His word. The Bible is our guide, a source of divine revelation that illuminates the path to understanding. Approach the scriptures with reverence, studying them diligently, and allowing the word of God to be a lamp unto your feet. Psalm chapter 62 verse 8. Trust in him at all times, you people, pour out your hearts to him, for God is our refuge. God desires authenticity in our relationship with him. Engage in honest conversations with the Almighty, laying bare your joys, sorrows, doubts, and fears. Pour out your heart to God, for in vulnerability, we find refuge in his unwavering love and understanding. Philippians chapter 4 verse 6 7. Do not be anxious about anything, but in every situation, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your requests to God. And the peace of God, which transcends all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. Gratitude is a powerful key to drawing near to God. In prayer, cultivate a spirit of thankfulness. Present your requests to God with a heart overflowing with gratitude, acknowledging His goodness, mercy, and the countless blessings bestowed upon you. Experience the peace that surpasses understanding as you express your thanksgiving. Psalm chapter 46 verse 10. Be still, and know that I am God, I will be exalted among the nations, I will be exalted in the earth. In the busyness of life, find moments of stillness and silence. Creating space for God's presence allows you to hear His gentle whispers. Be still, knowing that God is present, and let the tranquility of these moments deepen your awareness of His divine guidance. Matthew chapter 25 verse 40. The king will reply, Truly I tell you, whatever you did for one of the least of these brothers and sisters of mine, you did for me. Drawing near to God involves reflecting his love through ACTS of service. Engage in ACTS of kindness, compassion, and generosity. As you serve others, you draw closer to the heart of God, mirroring his love in tangible ways. Psalm chapter 119 verse 15. I meditate on your precepts and consider your ways. In addition to studying the scriptures, incorporate prayerful meditation into your spiritual practice. Reflect on God's word, pondering his precepts and considering his ways. Let the meditation of your heart be a continual conversation with the divine, allowing his truth to permeate your thoughts and actions. Proverbs chapter 27 verse 17. As iron sharpens iron, so one person sharpens another. In our journey of drawing near to God, fellowship with fellow believers is a source of strength and encouragement. Engage in community, where shared faith and experiences sharpen one another. As we gather in unity, the presence of God is magnified, deepening our collective understanding and connection with Him. Proverbs chapter 3 verse 5 6. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways submit to Him, and He will make your paths straight. To draw near to God, surrender is paramount. Yield your desires, plans, and worries to the sovereignty of the Almighty. Trust in the Lord wholeheartedly, acknowledging that His ways surpass our understanding. In surrender, you find the freedom to draw closer to God as He orchestrates your path. Psalm chapter 32 verse 5. Then I acknowledged my sin to you and did not cover up my iniquity. I said, I will confess my transgressions to the Lord. And you forgave the guilt of my sin. Confession and repentance are pathways to a clean heart and a renewed closeness with God. Acknowledge your shortcomings, confess your sins, and seek His forgiveness. Through repentance, experience the cleansing power of God's grace, allowing you to draw near with a heart reconciled and restored. Psalm chapter 95 verse 1 2. Come, let us sing for joy to the Lord, let us shout aloud to the rock of our salvation. Let us come before him with thanksgiving and extol him with music and song. True worship is a gateway to drawing near to God. Express your devotion through heartfelt praise and worship. Sing for joy, shout with gratitude, and extol the Lord through music and song. In worship, experience the profound connection that transcends the earthly realm and touches the divine. Isaiah chapter 40 verse 31. But those who hope in the Lord will renew their strength. They will soar on wings like eagles, they will run and not grow weary, they will walk and not be faint. Patience is a virtue in drawing near to God. Trust in His perfect timing, for those who wait upon the Lord will renew their strength. As you navigate the seasons of waiting, let hope be your anchor, knowing that God's plan unfolds in the fullness of time. 2 Corinthians chapter 13 verse 5. Examine yourselves to see whether you are in the faith, test yourselves. Do 
do you not realize that Christ Jesus is in you, unless, of course, you fail the test? Regular self-reflection is essential in spiritual growth. Examine your heart, motivations, and actions. Test your faith, and allow Christ's presence within you to be a guiding force. In gracious self-reflection, discover opportunities for growth and draw nearer to God with a spirit of humility and authenticity. Psalm chapter 119 verse 105. Your word is a lamp for my feet, a light on my path. To draw nearer to God, immerse yourself in His Word. The Bible is a source of divine wisdom, guidance, and revelation. Allow God's Word to illuminate your path, providing clarity and direction for your spiritual journey. Through regular study and meditation, your spirit is nourished, fostering a deeper connection with the Creator. Galatians chapter 5 verse 22-23 But the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, forbearance, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness and self-control. Engage in ACTS of kindness as a tangible expression of God's love. The fruits of the Spirit, including kindness, are evident in a life drawn close to God. By extending compassion, love, and grace to others, you participate in God's redemptive work, fostering unity and reflecting His character to the world. Proverbs chapter 13 verse 20. Walk with the wise and become wise, for a companion of fools suffers harm. Surround yourself with spiritual mentors and companions who walk closely with God. Learning from those experienced in their faith journey can offer valuable insights, accountability, and encouragement. Seek out those whose lives reflect a deep relationship with the divine, and let their wisdom guide you on the path of drawing nearer to God. 1 Kings chapter 19 verse 12. After the earthquake came a fire, but the Lord was not in the fire. And after the fire came a gentle whisper. In the hustle and bustle of life, carve out moments of intentional silence. God often speaks in the still, small voice. By embracing silence, you create space to listen attentively to God's guidance, gaining clarity and insights that can only be heard in the quietude of the soul. Romans chapter 12 verse 1. Therefore, I urge you, brothers and sisters, in view of God's mercy, to offer your bodies as a living sacrifice, holy and pleasing to God. This is your true and proper worship. Extend your worship beyond the sanctuary into your daily life. Offer every aspect of your being as a living sacrifice, dedicated to God's service. Let your work, relationships, and daily activities become ACTS of worship, glorifying God in all you do. In this way, you draw near to Him through a life surrendered to His will. Lamentations chapter 3 verse 22-23 Because of the Lord's great love we are not consumed, for His compassions never fail. They are new every morning, great is your faithfulness. Keep a spiritual journal to document your journey with God. Reflect on His faithfulness, record answered prayers, and document moments of spiritual growth. Journaling provides a tangible record of God's work in your life, serving as a reminder of His enduring love and faithfulness. Dear seekers of God's presence, may these additional dimensions enrich your quest to draw nearer to Him. Immerse yourself in God's Word, express kindness to others, seek spiritual mentors, embrace silence, extend worship beyond the sanctuary, and journal your spiritual journey. May your pursuit of God be multifaceted, creating a rich tapestry of experiences that deepen your intimacy with the Divine. Draw near with expectancy, and may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit accompany you on this profound journey of closeness to God. Amen. Dear Beloved, in our pursuit of a deeper connection with the Almighty, we embark on a sacred journey.